uh, it was actually classification of instrument am i right it was actually classification of instrument so i discussed only absolute or primary transducer or instruments with respect to the secondary one and secondary one we know there will be several kind of uh intermediate means intermediate means means intermediate sections which actually convert the pr primary output into a particular kind of electrical output uh, which helps us to get output from the um, i mean ultimate outputs am i right so and next uh, what i said let me open my whiteboard just wait few minutes more so please record the class oh sure Microsoft Whiteboard is taking time to be open. I just wait a few minutes more. So before this one, I'm going to say a few words. Let the uh, Microsoft Whiteboard open. Uh, instrumentation. So what do we mean by instrumentation? The term instrumentation actually uh, refers to a group of permanent systems. Uh, the term instrumentation actually uh, refers to a group of permanent systems which help us to measure objects and maintain retroactive control of a process instrumentation refers to a group of permanent systems which helps to measure the objects as well as maintain retroactive control of a process okay that's when there is a two part of a instrumentation one is measurement another one is a control in some books you will find the instrumentation refers to a group instrumentation referred to a group which actually combinations of measurements of measuring as well as monitoring and control instruments okay so these are the uh, these are the important thing you have to keep in your mind whenever you will be asked about the what is instrumentation or definition of instrumentation you must say the instrumentation refers to a group of permanent systems which uh, uh, which uh, help us 
to measure objects as well as maintain or sometimes we measure objects and monitor and maintain the retroactive control of a process okay, okay. so the measurement systems these are the instrument used to what is the measurement system that we discussed yesterday the, these are the instrument used to establish the size of the object by being scientifically tested okay so we obviously have some kind of standard to measure the values the numerical values uh, and um, uh, numerical values with respect to the standard one okay this kind of uh, situations occurs in a scientific experiment and in the um, uh, experience to acquire information or data acquire information and data okay these data can be processed in real time okay this data can be processed in real time for further improvement of, of the instruments or further improvement of the process or to maintain the proper control scheme of the instrument uh, process okay so the control terms control systems in addition to the measuring object these instruments i mean controlling instruments are also used for to uh, used to exert a controls over Mm, the feedback process okay feedback process now the term is feedback it's come uh, purely uh, new to you probably feedback process so what we understood here we understood one instrumentation mainly deal with two things one is measuring or measurement another part is control so one of your friends sent me to record now Okay, uh, Udhva has probably call, call, called me for record, no? recording. I'm not finding the actual option over here. Uh, let me see this. Do you know how to record? Can you see me? Can you listen to me, boys? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if I'm talking about the uh, uh, instrumentation, there obviously we uh, say two main things. One is instrumentation related with the measurement. Another is the control. Uh, the instrumentation is related with the measurement. Another is the instrumentation related with the control. There are also another option, uh, another part which is monitoring part. Like camera, uh, like monitoring device or monitoring uh, device or monitoring instruments. So one is control, one is uh, 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 another is a measurement, another uh, and another one is a monitoring. This is the three main in the uh, functions we usually deal with the instruments in process. To monitor, to measure, and as well as to control the process. So this is uh, um, instrumentation. Now uh, I like to say one thing more over here uh, about the classifications. Uh, so uh, what I said earlier days uh, last times that there is a uh, two main uh, category of classifications. So one is called one is called. Primary 
primary right primary and uh, other one is called secondary okay primary instrument sometime also called as a uh, sometime also called as a absolute absolute fine fine These things I downloaded an image for your visualization uh, that measuring instruments having two kinds. One is absolute, one is absolute. One is absolute instrument or primary instrument, and other is a secondary instrument. Okay. And secondary instruments, you will find here is a three kind of instruments. One is indicating instrument, recording instrument, and integrating instruments. So in, in that case, secondary instruments, we have a, some kind of uh, indicating instrument, integrating instrument, recording instruments. Whereas measuring instruments also some kind of other, other, different, other category like analog instrument that we discussed last day and digital instrument in analog instruments we said that the instrument only deals with analog signals whereas in digital instrument the instruments deals with analog signal but <coughs> that analog signal converted in digital form or di by digital signal the systems uh, then after that digital system fed to the microcontroller or microprocessor based systems to get an output and digital instrument is much more um, uh, i mean better than of the analog instrument in case of uh, in respect to uh, with respect to the accuracy as well as um, um, errorless i mean uh, less error it's not errorless it should be a, should have a, some error but the error will be less here okay that i said last day and there are also other category is a mechanical instrument electrical instrument electronic instrument can you see this category here i pasted a pictures yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Is it visible? So we can say that that uh, these are the these are the uh, important uh, part we discuss and some of example of analog instruments. Uh, you can say analog instrument like earlier voltmeter. Huh? You have seen voltmeter earlier voltmeter ammeter. But in case of digital instrument, you have seen that digital multimeter DMM. Huh? Digital another instrument, digital instruments you probably have seen in basic electronics that is digital oscilloscope. Have you seen this one? DSO. Digital oscilloscope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there is a DSO you have seen that is a digital and DMM. You studied, uh, I mean, uh, oscilloscope. Have you studied it? Yes, sir. No, no, you probably have not studied as well. You have studied cathode ray tube, CRT. Yes, sir. We have studied cathode ray tube. Okay, fine. Then uh, you have a quite a good. You have a good knowledge about the DSO or oscilloscope. And now you know that in case of oscilloscope, what happened? There will be certain electron beam coming from the anode and it hits on the cathode, right? It actually yes, not sir. hits on the cathode. The, um, there will be certain anode um, cathode. Uh, it's coming out from cathode and there will be certain kind of deflecting plates and uh, which actually control the electron beams and it uh, actually produce a illuminescence of phosphors, uh, phosphorens over the uh, CRT tube and through what you can monitor. This is oscilloscope probably the basic function of basic, I mean, um, the single line uh, expressions of the function of oscilloscope. Well, you have seen there will be certain kind of uh, deflecting plates, uh, vertical or horizontal deflecting plates or acylating plates, right? So this way uh, we can produce some kind of luminescence and um, uh, of the electron beams and we can say this is high noise and there will be some kind of grating over the uh, gratitude over the uh, 
uh, CRT tubes, and this way you can say this is sine wave. At the, according to the light, uh, trace of the light, it's a certain kind of signals. Okay, that is all about the analog oscilloscope. Now till today, that analog oscilloscope is removed, and there is no CRT. It is very flexible and very smart device right now. A small device, there will be certain kind of LCD display panel or LED display panel, and with the USB port and microprocessor, microcontroller. What happened? The signals uh, easily fed to the system so with the USB port or certain kind of serial bus, and the stress actually observed over the digital panel, uh, digital display, digital uh, display. Okay, that display is a simple like a liquid crystal display or um, uh, light emitting diode display display. Okay, these are the two days in our uh, but but the basic was a CRT earlier. It was but CRT is absolute instrument right now. And everywhere you will find DSO is a small uh, and portable instrument. Okay, so this is the digital. You know, this is the advantage of digital instrument over the analog one. So the earlier one is analog oscilloscope, which is big in size, which have a huge circuits. Not only that, it is it was <coughs> very difficult to calibrate. But in case of DSO, you know there is an auto calibrating point. You once you press the switch, the system automatically calibrate. So there will be certain kind of advantage of microprocessor, microcontroller, and actually the device are very smart for the uh, for the for the particular inbuilt microprocessor, microcontroller. Okay, so that things we um, we will discuss uh, definitely we will discuss, but we'll keep in your mind that uh, that is a, there is a certain kind of category of measuring instrument. What is the analog instrument? Uh, some is digital instrument. Definitely, digital instrument is far much more better than what the analog instrument but analog instrument is a fundamental one where the electronics and electricals are concerns i mean the knowledge are concerns they over this one the digital instruments are developed okay without knowing the analog one we cannot say about the digital instruments because we, we have a certain lack of uh, knowledge to develop a digital instrument without knowing um, analog instrument okay so after that there will be certain kind of category that i started yesterday that is mechanical electrical and electronic instrument some instrument purely mechanical some terms i said that time is a pneumatic instrument hydraulic instrument some is a mechanical linkage ah, this 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 kind of instrument is mechanical instruments and let me let me show you some picture of mechanical instruments The oldest um, instruments uh, is the mechanical instruments, actually. But we know pulley systems. That is uh, another uh, mechanical instrument that is that was used uh, uh, thousand years uh, to thousand, not only thousand, it might be two thousand, three thousand years back, but still is very important for uh, our different kind of measurements. Let me show a picture of pressure measurement. Okay, that is the important one. I'm trying to find a best picture of for this one. Can I see it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not hearing any voice of girls. Actually, I'm looking over the white board, so I don't know uh, who is listening or who is not. 
it will be better to give me a sound or acknowledgement by your voice then i can say that somebody is listening anyhow this is a uh, pressure gauge you will find over here and uh, that is very common pressure gauge you have seen a, uh, my, any means this or any oil filling station that kind of it's inside diagram it's inside diagram is actually uh, actually like that can you see it here yes sir uh, this is a pointer okay this is a pointer and there will be certain kind of gear mechanism the, there will be certain kind of gear mechanism it is not clear i think uh, i will show you the clear picture when i will discuss the pressure measurement okay just i am giving a little bit in, uh, in, uh, information or introduction of mechanical instrument here so this this is this is a gear assembly this is a gear assembly and which actually uh, when while fills that particular bend uh, c type bend tube when while filled by that c type bend tube that tube will try actually tries to be straightened okay so due to what the gear uh, that that particular linkage mechanical linkage will be pulled once it will be pulled then this gear will start moving downward or upward according to the pulling of that particular particular sections okay so that gear will move out up and down and according to what that particular pointer deflects that particular pointer deflects so suppose pointer at a zero condition that's a no oil actually fill that tube when a point um, oil is filled due, due to huge pressure due to huge pressure oil enter here and it's fill the tubes and uh, as well as pressure increase, pressure increase, then that bend tube actually try to be straightened. Or the bend tube try to be straightened means that gear assembly it will be that gear assembly actually that gear assembly will actually pull. This section will be pulled. Once this will be pulled, that that hinge will move downwards. That new hinge will be moved downwards means this is the particular area where we will find a gear shaped or gear teeth. You will find here a uh, you will find here certain uh, certain kind of gear teeth, and that due to that gear teeth, there will be another gear connected uh, connected with the uh, pointer. That gear also rolls, and the pointer moves. Okay, this is purely mechanical systems where while pressure will actually move the pointer, and finally it will produce certain kind of indication for measurement okay this is a mechanical system and what about the electrical instrument you know yes there are several electrical instrument certain kind of brief circuit also used as electrical instrument for measurement of capacitor inductance and one important one is the lcr meter lcr meter have you seen lcr meter have you studied lcr meter not yet sir no sir so okay fine you probably have seen certain um, uh, certain uh, uh, um, I mean LCR circuit. You studied it? Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. You studied LCR circuit mean you connected in um, uh, inductance and capacitance and resistance inside a series and probably probably there will be certain current and due to what there will be certain kind of voltage difference across inductance across capacitance across resistance, right? Yeah. That should be, and uh, you got a key, cut your voltage loop. Applying this one, you sum with the source voltage with the 
voltage across the component. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The important law here is a culture voltage law. Uh, that two law you have to remember whole life in whole life. Culture, culture uh, current law and voltage law. Culture current law, probably BD sir will discuss the electronics part where the culture current law is very important and we usually consider the voice come from past year. They are quite aware of the uh, culture current law. So uh, culture current law and voltage law is important and whenever you are going to find the voltage across uh, any component by happening not one whatever, you have to remember the culture voltage law as well as when you are going to apply the voltage across the op-amp or transistor circuit, you have to consider the node analysis using culture current law. Anyhow, this is a separate issue. But what I want to mean that electrical instruments means what certain kind of LCR circuit of uh, connected with the uh, voltage supply and you will find some unknown resistance to measure by the LCR meter. What you have to do that you have to, once you have to connect the resistance across the circuit, the resistance overall the, or uh, the uh, impedance across the circuit will increase right as you like the impedance across the circuit will increase so there will be certain drag of um, uh, or certain pool of voltage across the unknown resistance and if, what you have to do you have to calculate by certain kind of calculation that you did in circuit theory or that will be discussed by RGM uh, in circuit theory am i right probably you have a good idea of electrical measurement you studied electrical measurement in first year Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, there was books like Theraja, na? You studied? Sir, yes, sir, there was an electric report. There were different yes. instruments we studied. Measuring instruments. Not you practical mean, purpose. Yes. Only theory. You may have studied different instruments. I am not talking about the instrument. Have you studied the elect basic electricals by Theraja or something? Theraja 1 or yes sir. Yes, ah, sir. yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. We studied that only. It was very important book, you know. So that there is or certain yes, kind of books which actually helps you to know about the basic electricals where you probably come across the LCR circuitries by in series circuits, so parallel circuits and across the um, uh, across the circuit, how the resistance or how the capacitance, how the interactions are measured. Even you come across some kind of DC or AC bridge circuit, huh? Right? Like DC ortive bridge, like searing bridge, Maxwell bridge, right? So those are the also electrical instruments. Those are for measurement of unknown electrical component or electrical values. There is another part is a electronic instruments. Electronic instruments you are quite familiar like a radio transmitter. These are also electronic instrument like TV, like DS. So all are in electronic transmitter. What the most of the component is electronic components. Uh, electronic. What is the difference between electrical electronic instruments? Both actually deals with the current, right? Electrical instruments, you will find the main reason of flow of electrons. When you have studied your knowledge on electrical, we are said that there will be certain potential difference, then the electrons start flow, right? When electrons start flow between two potential difference, then the current actually conducts. So that means there will be current signals and due to what there will be some voltage, when there will be uh, resistance across that um, resistance position in the conductor, current flows through the resistance, there will be certain voltage loss. Anyhow, this is mainly electrical systems where the current voltage resistance only deals with. In electronics component, definitely that is also a important um, uh, component which we deal with the current voltage and resistance. But there will be certain kind of IC technology. IC technology means like transistors, semiconductor devices. Okay, the, those are the important component in electronic devices who are the semiconductor. Semiconductor is not purely conductor in electrical system where we will find that there will be conductor or insulator. But in electronic systems, we will find there will be a semiconductor devices which actually deals with the current and resistance as well as impedance. And finally, you will get an amplified or attenuated output. Okay, these are the important part of um, measurements. Um, these are the important, not only important part of the measurement, these are you can say is a electrical measurement and electronic measurement. Fine. Now come to that to, uh, to other category is a manual instruments and automatic instruments. Some instruments are manual. Like today, you probably in this period of Corona or pandemic, 
you probably have seen that blood pressure measurement devices have you seen it yes sir yes sir most of the family uh, most of the family do have uh, some kind of blood pressure measurement and today almost all the but the blood pressure measurement devices are digital but earlier you will find some instruments was there that is called pigmo manometer which actually made of mercury manometer with some uh, bulb to generate a pressure and a belt which actually round the uh, tie our vein or hands and the uh, doctor used to pump the uh, pump the particular bellows or a bellows kind of device rubber bellows to generate a huge pressure to block the vein uh, to block the blood uh, flow through the vein and measure the pressure blood pressure the diastolic pressure or systolic pressure the whole operation was digital uh, and a manual am i right whole operation was yes, manual yes sir yes sir yeah i am just showing a pictures if somebody wants to see it This, this, this actually, this actually, speed bomb manometer, which actually manual operated, right? This is the bellows which you you are pushing this one or using this one the blood pressure increase, and this is a belt titric actually used to tie the our upper arm, right? And this actually sends the pulse. I mean, by um, um, blood, uh, I mean blood sound, blood flow sound. systolic sound or diastolic sound according to what the blood pressure actually measures so these things is purely purely manual systems right not only manual system you can you even can say it's a pneumatic systems pneumatic system means under category of mechanical system pneumatic system means under category of mechanical systems this device actually deals with the sound wave sound wave there will be certain kind of diaphragm in front of stethoscope and uh, this diaphragm says the sound pressures and generate a signals to your ear and this is the mercury manometer so what we increase the pressure it's purely mechanical system it's actually under come under the mechanical instrument but it is purely pneumatic system right and so what does pneumatic mean pneumatic means which actually deals with certain kind of pressure signal okay okay it's a liquid pressure some kind of liquid pressure or air pressure or steam pressure which is mainly used some are hydraulic system where the non compressible fluids are deals with i mean main medium to generate the pressure both of the both of the device deals with the pressure signal both of the device deals with the pressure signal one pressure is generated by some liquid some liquid means not a boil compressible liquid might be compressible liquid or some air pressure okay these are mainly pneumatic systems and some e devices are called hydraulic systems which deals with the hydraulic oil means non compressible oil and non compressible oils mean newtonian fluids have you studied the fluid mechanics no probably this is uh, the subject you will study in this semester okay so the so fluid you, mechanics started to you studied it na yes sir okay fine so you will find there is a certain category of fluids incompressible fluid compressible fluid right or newtonian fluids or non newtonian fluids fluids am i right sir we started to dig it together sir okay anyhow yes. so that's when that's when you are going to know uh, going to know these things in details very good but there will be a certain kind of fluids and non newtonian newtonian fluids non newtonian fluids or compressible fluid or non compressible incompressible fluid non incompressible fluid means uh some fluid when you will apply a pressure the fluid exert that pressure uh, same pressure in opposite end and compressible fluid means when you exert a pressure some pressure will be absorbed by the fluid itself itself like air like air when you exert some pressures the air compresses 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 and then after it generate another uh, the by uh, pressure so some pressure will be absorbed by the um, pressure itself to be compressed and then after it will behave like a non compressible or incompressible fluid uh, and generate the pressure to the operator okay 
that is a separate issue. I just going to say about the hydraulic systems and uh, pneumatic systems. These are the pneumatic systems where air pressure actually send a pressure over the manometric liquids. And you know, manometer work on the P1, P2, 2 pressure on the over there U term, U tube uh, opening, right? Uh, U tube set. And that pressure actually uh, make a pressure defense over the manometric liquid. And that DLP defense will be considered as a systolic pressure and diastolic pressure of the uh, human body. Anyhow, these are the my main discussion. This is the, the manual pressure, manual devices or manual instruments. And same time, I'm like to say you, it's a mechanical instruments or specifically or precisely it is a it is an uh, what I said. It is a pneumatic instruments, right? So same instrument you will find in digital mode. Digital model, this is commonly you have seen today, is that kind of device. Right? You probably have that kind of device in your family. So this is a digital device. What do you have to do? You have to connect this one. There will be a power, power solar battery. What do you have to do? You switch on the battery generate by having a small compressor. Small compressor means it's the uh, it's um and confined in a particular chamber by a particular pump small pump and that pump actually in the generator pressure through that particles to over this belt or this uh huh, belt systems and generate a particular pressure and that pressure sense by your digital instruments and that is one definitely definitely made of certain kind of electronic components so it comes under the electronic instrument it comes under the electronic instrument as it is made of some electronic ICs, electronic uh, relay, or uh, certain kind of a very large scale, um, um, I mean, VLSI technology based instruments or uh, components. So it's purely come under electronic instrument, not any electrical instrument. Get my point? Yes, sir. Okay. So is the digital one a pneumatic instrument? It's a digital. It's a digital. This panel meter is actually LCD. This panel meter is actually LCD. Today, this is LCD display. And you know, the LCD display or LED display, actually, when the LCD LED display is switched on, when there will be a driver, there will be a driver, driver IC. What is the driver IC? Driver IC might be 74 LS74. Uh, seven, you probably have an analog electronics earlier like semester. Do you have? Oh, you have a basic electronics. We have it in the next semester. You started basic electronics. So you, more, you may have a knowledge of certain kind of ICs like 741, right? 741 is the basic IC of 74 series. Okay. There will be some other ICs also. Uh, which actually used for display uh, driver, uh, display driver. Okay, seven four LS. So those are the IC we have to connect be before that LCD panel to display certain value like one three eight seven three. You will find this is not seven three. Uh, you may see seven three, but in digital mode, it's a, a, a particular LED. This is a, is a another LED. This is another LED. So I mean that display actually. Look, what I want to mean that what are you seeing here? One three eight, right? right? One three eight, right? Very good. But actually, it is not one three eight for a electronics instruments the engineer. What it is? It actually switched on a particular LED here switch on a particular LED here, switch on another LED here, another LED here, another LED here, another LED here, and that LED will be will glow according to the algorithms connected with the microprocessor or microcontroller. 
are generated by microprocessor or microcontroller. Get my point? To display 138. Yes. To display 138. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, 138 is some numerical value, but it's not able to show the numerical value. It actually switch on particular LED and according to the uh, power on LED, uh, uh, actually the uh, on LED, you will find this is like 138. So if I want to display 138, I have to uh, um, uh, power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 number of LED will be on will be on to display 138 right and which 14 led will be on it is it will be decided by your micro microcontroller or microprocessor microprocessor or micro what is microprocessor or microcontroller microprocessor and microcontroller is very advanced ic advanced ic which actually made of different kind of digital gates digital gates like and gates or gate nand gates those are the gates okay using those digital logic gates a microprocessor microcontroller design so that logic will execute the logic you have to make and put in your microprocessor to execute such a way that that particular 14 led will grow to display 138 and there will be 13 LED will be glow to display 137. So this, these are the criteria according to what you have to make a rules or logic and you have to put this one in microprocessor or microcontroller. Okay. Then after you can see 138 or 73 or 74. Actually 73, 74, these are the numbers you understand. That's why those LED are required to be glow on. But in digital systems, what it is actually doing, there will be certain logics and powers and according to the logic, some LED will blow. Okay. So this is purely electronic systems. So now come to that point. Now that some instrument, automatic instrument. So what I am going to say, this digital instrument, what do we have do? What do we have done? We just paste a switch, and automatically the air compressed uh, and was uh, generated. My blood pressure measured and the reading displayed. Okay, everything done in automatic mode. We have not done anything by manual. Just we power on. Once we power on the device then the whole device will run the measurement automatically. Okay. This is automatic instrument. This is called automatic instrument. Now the, the important one is a self-operated power instrument and self-operated instrument and power operated instrument. instruments. What is self-operated instrument? Some instrument, some instruments require no power. No power means no electric powers. It is automatically switched on and display the reading. Like your speak manometer here, like your stethoscope here, do you feel that any power supply or other power supply required to switch on the stethoscope to listen the sounds of heartbeat? Do you feel? No, sir. No, sir. So it is self power operated, a self operated instrument. So whenever you want to listen the voice, what do you have to do? You have to hold that uh, diaphragm or that particular sensor over your chest, then uh, put your that uh, that particular uh, part in your uh, in, the close to your ear, you will listen the voice sounds. Okay. You don't need any extra power to switch on or active that instrument, to activate the instrument. Similarly, here also, once you will go to, uh, you want to measure that uh, your blood pressure, you generate that pressure manually, then it automatically shows the readings. And there is no need of extra power. Extra power here. So these are the self-generated or self-operated or active instrument. Or active instrument. What I said? 
एक्टिव इंस्ट्रूमेंट some books it will find active transducer some books you will find it is called active transducer right transducer and instruments are same active transducer and some is called passive transducer this is a power operated instrument some instrument not able to measure any measurement without having any auxiliary power cell power supply auxiliary power supply that's when you need a external power supply to activate that instrument for measurements like your uh, digital um, uh, speed move manometer what do you see in that you once we press the switch it automatically measure the it's automatically hello boys yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. just hold on hold on. शुक्रवार आज चौदह दिन बैकअप नहीं ताते तीन चार दिन दिन अच्छा जो बेपार ना घंटा so uh, some are passive instrument like uh, the automatic speed manometer what do you see in that once we we'll press the power switch it will uh, switch on and measure the uh, blood pressure but it was done only when four battery connected back side of the power uh, back side of that speed manometer that power supply uh, that battery actually behave like auxiliary power supply and it will actually activate the device to measure the blood pressure Similarly, you will find that thermometer. One is a mercury thermometer. What you can do is just can you put the mercury thermometer on the arm? You can measure the temp body temperature, right? There is no need of auxiliary power supply. It's an active transducer. Now, some digital thermometer today available so far. The battery is connected, right? Battery is connected. It, uh, it's it's uh, required to be switched on, and then you will put in under arm to measure the temperature. So this way you can measure uh, uh, defined parameters. So using two defined kind of instruments, some is active instrument, which is self-operated instrument, some is power-operated or passive instruments. Passive instruments require a uh, auxiliary power supply. Okay. There is another category it was discussed here is a deflecting instrument and null output instrument. Deflecting instrument, null output instruments. Like earlier I have shown you a uh, 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 button gauge, like okay, button gauge. I uh, forget the button gauge. What do you know about the galvanometer? You probably come across galvanometer, na? No? Yes, sir. So in case of galvanometer, what do you see in that there will be uh, ballistic galvanometer. Have you seen? Yes, sir. There will be certain mirror and over what the light beam, uh, um, light incidents and for uh, create a sp uh, light spot. I will send that kind of ballistic galvanometer. So we have seen in books only, not in. You, you read a books, right? Yes. So sir. let me let me show you a galvanometer.
Grammarly can help you write quickly and confidently, so you never have to slow down at work. Stay on top of emails, documents, and more without having to stay put. Whether you're working on your computer or on your phone, Grammarly provides instant writing advice, so your messages are clear without sounding rushed. Instant corrections make your writing mistake-free, while keeping it short, sweet, and fitting in. Students, students, today we learn about, about this special, special instrument. instrument. This is this wrong. wrong. This, this gives the sound of echoing. Yeah. Please. Uh, so the sound is echoing. It says the sound is echoing. We uh, can't hear anything properly. Okay, okay. Okay, just wait. I am just finding the particular positions where. Sir, you can just show us a picture, sir. Huh? Sir, if you show us a picture and explain it to us, we will be able to understand it better, sir. Just, just, I want to show you the uh, images, a uh, real time image of a, a galvanometer. No need to explain the theory right now. We have to discuss those things in uh, future also. Okay. I just okay, want to show you. I just okay, want to show the device. Nothing more. Look, here is a small mirror inside that galvanometer. Is you will find just small mirror inside that. This is ballistic galvanometer. It was actually used before 90s. Not only before 90s, it before 2000s. Okay, that kind of galvanometer you actually found in laboratory, student laboratory, or uh, I mean. Uh, uh, for understanding of galvanometer principle, today those kind of galvanometer you will not find anywhere except the academic laboratories. Okay, this is obsolete instrument, but the principle, working principle, is very interesting. Not only that, that working principle used in several area for recording a device, even recording a device. Okay, let me show you the device actually. Its its shape is defined. This is two port where the jumper or wire are connected. But there, there is a thin, thin fast bone, bone fiber, fiber which, is which is hanging, hanging from, the from the top. top. Look, that hanging on the top from here. That is bone fiber and a light beam mirror. And, and is holding, holding this coil frame, frame assembly, assembly with the mirror. mirror you can, can see. see. A small, a small circular mirror is attached to the phosphor bond wire. From here, the light gets reflected and falls on the scale. Can you hear it? Let's conduct the experiment to find out the current sensitivity of the plastic galvanometer. Current sensitivity is the deflection produced on the scale kept at one meter. Still, it is equine. This is a circuit diagram. Three registers P, Q, and yes, R are connected with the VG. If light is reflected on the scale, you can see the spot on the scale. It's fine now, sir. You can adjust these registers so that the spot remains in the range. It doesn't go away from the scale. But by changing the resistance, you can notice that the deflection. The scale. But by changing the resistance, you can notice that the deflection increases or, or decreases. decreases. If you, if you find, find the deflection is too much, much you, can you can... Look, that is the light beam. Can you listen my word? Students? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. 
this is slide beam actually occur due to a certain small current passing through the coil look there is a certain kind of um, uh, um, principle you studied that is the uh, ampere's law okay ampere's law for left hand uh, or uh, fleming's left hand rules better you say, say fleming's left hand rules some magnetic field um, in a particular directions electrical field in a particular direction then there will be certain kind of deflections or mechanical force develop okay due to mechanical force what happened the mirror actually bends mirror bend in a particular angular displacement angular displacement in a particular angle such as some might be 15 degree or 10 degree with respect to its initial positions okay so according to what the light beam create a light spot over the scale and that will, that scale actually used for measurement of the current signal uh, passing that current passing through the galvanometer this is very old systems and very much sensitive uh, to the its platform so these kind of instruments are today not used what used today today we will find that there will be there will be manometer which actually used for which actually used for which is actually used for the voltage measurement as well as current measurement as well as resistance measurement even some cases the manometer also used uh, sorry multimeter multimeter i'm not talking sorry 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 it's not manometer multimeter you will find some multimeter which also used for voltage measurement, current measurement in some cases, definitely resistance measurement in some cases, the multimeter also used for measurement of frequency. So high-end multimeter also help us to measure the frequency. So this is the benefit of the digital instrument today. And uh, some instrument here, as I discussed, deflecting instruments. So the deflection here occurs. The deflection of light beam actually used to measure the values. And similarly, uh, some deflecting instrument like uh, uh, like uh, galvanometer, like galvanometer means earlier galvanometer, what you studied, uh, like, uh, uh, what you studied, like this kind of galvanometer. Is this a galvanometer or ammeter? So ammeter, sir. Ammeter. 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 You will find that particular pointer actually indicate initial value that is zero, and depth swing or right swing will indicate the particular measurements, right? Left swing or right swing will say about the measurements, how much micro ampere current flowing through the circuit, and this is a deflecting time instrument. Not only sorry, this is not a deflecting time instrument. It is a deflecting time instrument. Definitely deflecting time instruments. Some some instrument that some instrument are used in across a bridge where zero actually indicate the output. Zero actually indicate the output. In my point, some instrument are same similar kind instrument. Similar kind of instrument or similar type of instrument where the zero actually the output reading. Zero is actually output reading, like potentiometer. What happened in potentiometer? We move the jockey, we move the jockey and found a particular point where no sound, right? Huh? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where no sound. Let me show you potentiometer. You can remember it.
Have you seen this kind of potentiometer earlier? Yes, sir. Why the jockey you used to move to find out the null point? Right. Jockey used to move yes, to sir. find out the null point and across that the length is actually measured and according to what the resistance across the lead are measured. So this is another old instrument which is actually used for measurement of resistance of particular wire. But this instrument definitely, you know, definitely, you know, is used for for, uh, for uh, used as a null type device, used as a null type device. And this instrument, the same principle, or, or not a same principle, it's a uh, galvanometric principles, but these instruments where the point are actually deflect to indicate the output value deflect to indicate the value of measurement or output where null output instrument which actually used to find out the null point for the measurement null point for the measurement okay this is a two different kind two opposite kind of instrument one your pointer moves and dip, uh, get a angular position or angular displacement happens that angular displacement converted in a particular value this value will be the output value of the major uh, measuring systems uh, whereas null output instruments are the uh, output actually indicate the null point output actually indicate the null point and null point uh, that null point will be considered that null point will be considered the value of measurement okay this is uh, two kind of instruments so now uh, these are the category of instruments. Some instruments also are there. Uh, they are the name as uh, 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 they are uh, name as some um, hydraulic instrument or uh, uh, hydraulic instrument. Some is pneumatic instrument, which will be discussed in details. But more or less, more or less, the thing is clear for you. For classification of the instruments, particular classification about the classification of the instruments, and the classification of instrument is like that. Like um, I mean, primary instrument, secondary instrument, automatic instrument, manual instrument. These are the primary instrument. So I am not in uh, dragging that matter more. You will uh, study books. You will understand more clearly uh, with some examples. But it is enough for you to understand the classification. Now come to the point. Uh, another point is a certain process. Certain process means a a simple a simple uh, simple process of uh, feedback process. Better you say feedback process. You probably have seen that thing in basic electronics. There will be some part is feedback topology in a, uh, in a last chapter or end chapter of the basic electronics. Do you have an idea of this one? Here, yeah, boys, girls, no, no. No. we don't have an idea about this. Do you have an idea? No, sir. No, sir, we don't have any idea regarding this. Very good, very good, very good. So, uh, it is a very important structure in our instrumentation, not only instrumentation. If you talk about the engine, it is the most important diagram of engine. Can you sense the importance of that particular structure or diagram? It is an uh, important it is not only an important i can say it is the most important block diagram of engineering any kind of engine any branches of engine so can you sense that importance of that particular diagram right now you will understand one day by day you will proceed to be a, a mature to be a mature engineer you will understand what is the significance of that diagram. Everything will be discussed by this diagram. What is this? This is a system. So you will find something is written here input. Something here written as a reference. 
Am I right? So is it a feedback diagram yes, or sir. something like that? Is it a feedback diagram? No, it's not a signal. It's a block diagram. It's written here, block diagram. Don't confuse with that signal diagram or something else. What I want to mean, I am I'm explaining. I am explaining. That picture is just keeping your mind. It's a rectangular same and some of rectangular box inside. There will be two end. One end is it's called input end. One end is called input ends, and the other end is called output ends. Right? So that is not input ends. That is the input means some 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 certain kind of system, uh, certain kind of uh, uh, I mean feed is given here, or certain kind of signal is entering here. Certain kind of signal is coming out from here, and this is the whole process. Here, the process actually having another input that is called reference. That is called reference. It is an important one. With which, uh, with respect to the reference, it is compared. Like in your parents used to say, Hey, Babu, you are a person who is 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 a kind of comparison used to happen in our family, right? Yes, sir. You yes. all are bored with this one? Very accurate. Very. <laughs> right. So you all are bored with this one. This is a comparison. But unfortunately, we have to study that comparator. We have to compare with our reference all inputs in our life. This is the true fact. And this is the actual way to upgrade yourselves. What you used to done by my parents is actually you have to do in your life to get yourselves better in positions. So you definitely require to consider a reference and with what you give your inputs here. And then the compare. Compare means there will be certain error signal. Definitely there will be error. If you're going to compare with you and Einstein, you will find that error signal is too big, too big. Okay, if you're going to compare your signal by response with your uh, classmate, you will find the error is very less, very less, right? So, but you will find some error. Definitely, there will be some error in your behavior, in your responsibility, in your uh, intelligence, in your uh, effort, in your uh, achievement. So, there will be certain kind of error, and that error will be fit to a particular system. Let the error amplify or attenuate. If it, that error is good, that error is required to be amplified, then it should be amplified. If it is required to be attenuated, it should be attenuated by this particular, by this particular system. So that means that system actually actuate your signals, actuate your error signal and send an output. Now let's see the output. And sometimes you will cross, you will get the error signal with respect to Einstein's. And your error signal is somehow your actuator could make it accurate. And sometimes the actuator not able to make it accurate. It's make a little bit more than Einstein. Your response, your intelligence is a little bit more than Einstein's. Why we need Einstein? So what we have to do? We have to feed your intelligence to your own systems. As if the error will again, the new error signal helps you to get the appropriate signal required to be output. Appropriate. Einstein to be get a, as a output, right? So that's mean you have to you have to consider a process where the inputs will be a signals, and that input signal will be compared with the reference or standard signals inside the systems. So that error signal uh, error might be plus or minus depending on the inputs manner of inputs the manner of, of uh, reference signals. That error signal fit to a process gain or process systems which actually actuate the signals which actually actuate the signals, but definitely the actuator are not able to actuate the signal accurately. So you will find some output which, which will be a little bit more than your standard one or required one, or might be some less of your required one. If it is more than of required one, what you have to do? You have to feed that extra part through this device to your own systems, as if that whole output should be, uh, should be as a standard one, or should be as Should I send it again? 
Should I say it again? I am giving you an example. I am giving you an example. You most of you are a little bit uh, involved with cooking rice or cooking some. Um, um, I mean, uh, Indian foods or you Indian cuisine today's in pandemic period. Yes, yeah. So what you used to do, you you cooks uh, and after a certain time you call your mother, ma, dako ita thigo chicken na, or you take a small part of your uh, Indian cuisine uh, or Chinese cuisine and you taste yourself. Salt and sweetness is okay. Then it's okay. Or if it is less, you put salt more. If it's uh, less sweetened, then it you add more sweetened uh, sweetening things. So you use yourself to balance the whole taste of your cuisine, right? Yes, sir. Right. This is our feedback technology. What you used to do, you you actually mix defined inputs, and there is an auxiliary power supply which help you to create a process. And through that process, you want to get a standard output. And to get a standard output, what you used to do, use yourself a connect a measure. Your tongue is your measuring device, or sometimes your eye is measuring device. Sometimes your nose is measuring device. Using these organs or using this sensing organs, you yourself measure the output. And if you found that output is good, then you usually send a zero error signal. If output is not good. You just intimate your controller or brain to add some salt or add some sugar or add some some spices. Oh, so that's it, that's it. To make yourself the output design, right? That whole system is designed here. Whole story, whole sense, whole uh, phenomena you used to do in your uh, kitchen is actually modeled here in these diagrams. And in future, you will model or you will make it in mathematics way, mathematical way, to express your your whole your whole process. And you will find there will be some mathematical systems or mathematical mechanism. You yourself can develop a automated systems for cooking particular Indian cuisine. If you want to cook biryani, you don't need a cook. You don't need a uh, I mean uh, particular cook to cook the biryani. Or something you yourself develop a systems and that system will made a perfect biryani. But when you are going to design a new system, you have to keep whole things in your mind. If you, if you are going to design a Sophia kind robot, you have to keep this program in your mind. What I said, I said if you want to design a Sophia kind robot, you probably are quite aware about the Sophia, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So, so if you want to develop a Sophia kind of a robot, you even have to develop a, a, a that kind of diagram. Same diagram, same diagram, not that that kind. Same diagram. If you want to develop a rocket or Mangalyan, then you have to keep this diagram in your mind. Otherwise, the rocket or Mangalyan will not hit the target. So, if it's uh, going to hit no. the target, huh? Oh. Huh. So what are actuators? Actuator, by my uh, term, you can understand it's actuate the signals. Actuate the signals means it makes the signals perfect. Perfect for what? Perfect. For the functioning of the. Perfect to be input of the next system. This output is not the end output. This system huh. is not a. Uh, this is this output is not. This output is not end output. It is input but, to output system. But does actuator make it errorless? Uh, no, it's not it's, uh, simple errorless. There might be a term errorless or uh, filter circuit, but actuator not means uh, not be mentioned like a filter circuit. Actuator have a, is a combination of some circuit like filter circuit. Some circuit like a attenuator circuit or amplifier circuit, some circuit which might be increased or add adder circuit or substructor circuits. So in your analog electronics, this is probably the subject you have to study in this semester. You will find some operational amplifier which actually used for mathematical operation like adding, integrating, differentiating, yeah, certain kind of mathematical mathematical operation by open circuits. So, this will be the actuator circuits here. 
integrator circuit, differentiator circuit, and even some adding circuit or subtracting circuits. Some circuits might be their filter circuit, but these are the kind of circuits which will be considered to be a, a, a part of the actuators. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is an important part of the simple control system or simple process systems. And this particular part is called, as I said you, is a feedback control system. What I said? Feedback control system. So as I said, it's a feedback control system. So they are definitely a feed forward control system. Like your feed forward control system. Have you cooked with a feed forward control system? In this pandemic time? Some of you may have done with a microwave oven. What do you yes, used to sir. do? When you are going to cook and make a cake, you calculate that you, you yourself uh, uh, consider the ingredients with a certain amount. Then you mix it well and put in baking oven, right? Or con uh, convection oven or uh, some certain kind of microwave oven where a convection or convection modes are there. Okay. So what you used to do, you set the temperature and time, then you just moves here and there. Right. So after a certain time, you will find that your cake is ready. So what you have done, you have manipulated all the ingredients, all the inputs before, and according to the process, you just uh, let it to be ready. So this is, is a feed forward control systems, where you have to manipulate all the ingredients, all the in um, inputs, and according to the uh, ratio, according to the ratio, definitely the ratio you have to maintain over here, and then you let it be run and uh, after a certain time you will find some output there okay this is feed forward systems this is feed forward system but as you know that feed forward system having no feedback so you cannot control the output it's a, when you are going to control the output what you have to do you have to change the inputs yourselves you have to change the input yourselves okay you, you if you want to put the temperature uh, to have 10 minutes for your cake will not be ready. You will pick the cake out, uh, pick the cake out, and check yourselves. Uh, no, the cake is not ready. Again, you put the cake in the inside the oven and um, make some uh, time, uh, give it some time to be uh, cook again more. Okay, this way you have to be manipulate. You have to check, and uh, you have to check, and you have to run your process to get your output uh, ready. This is feed forward control systems. This is the two basic control systems. What I want to mean is a feed forward control system and feedback control system. Feedback and feed forward, those are most important control systems. Even you are going to study the rocket suns, you will find this one there. If you are going to be a civil engineer to make a multi storage building or bulge, the Khalifa type building, you will find there's like a feedback system also there. Or if you are going to consider any kind of process you will find fit for our feedback control system with you. So whenever you are going to say about instrumentation, keep in your mind there will be two control schemes, more important control schemes. There is also other control schemes like cascade control scheme, ratio control scheme, etc. etc. But two main important control schemes is fit for our control scheme and feedback control scheme. In fit for our control scheme, uh, feedback control scheme, there will be measuring instrument like your sensing organs, knock, uh, your nose, tongue, ear. Uh, similarly, there will be certain instrument which actually use for measurements or and give a signal to your inputs or comparator. Okay, this is all about the basic control scheme or instrumentations uh, or control instrumentations, right? Now I am coming to another part. So you you have a, a very very small idea of the process. This one you have a very very small a very brief idea of the classifications, right? So now let me show you some uh, picture of industrial instrumentation. Where that kind of control scheme are used? Let me show you a picture.
Hello. Hello. Oh, I thought uh, my net had some issues. No, no, I'm just picking that picture from website. That's all. Anyhow, uh, you all are here, Pawan. Yeah. Let me take uh, let me take your attendance. I I'm just at the end, so I'll take the attendance later. Can you see these ones? Yes, sir. This yes, is a sir. part of refinery, and this is uh, uh, this is actually situated at uh, Holdia, Indian oil refinery, one of the best industry, one of the um, I mean biggest industry in our country. That is the Indian oil refinery. Okay, you you will find there is a certain kind of chamber like this one under the pipelines and through this pipelines. How many instruments are there? Might be. One lakh instruments are there, and all the instruments are actually connected with the small feedback you know, feedback loops, small feedback loop. And every time, every minute, every seconds, they are giving information about the process parameter uh, to the engineer like you, who are monitoring all those things over the computer to give a proper uh, proper controlling signals to the whole systems. Let me check inside the um, uh, inside that refinery. What kind of instruments are there? Can you see this one? This is another. I, inside you will find that kind of diagram, piping diagrams. These are called piping systems. Okay? The pipes are connected, materials flowing through this pipe. That may be raw metal, that may be output materials. There will be certain chambers which actually holding certain pressure. And finally, you will find there will be some instruments connected like this way. Some instruments are connected this way. These are the these are the these are the instruments. Azolite transmitter, transducer, azolite transmitter. These are the controlling instruments. So thousands, numbers, or thousands and more instruments are connected in a particular units. And that instruments looks like some instruments look like this one. This one, this one, you will find that similar instruments is here. You will find this is button gauge I discussed. I have shown you a pictures. There will be certain Coriolis flow meter. There will be certain kind of nozzles. So these are the small number of instruments. So many instruments are there. Many instruments are there. But this is a particular kind of instrument. You will easily find over any pictures. And you will understand this is a part of your job. The monitoring, measuring. As you like controlling in the parameters by those instruments, it's a part of your job, your part of your department as your basically. Okay, these are the all things today. Next day, I'll discuss the next part. Okay, I have a class on okay. Monday. Yes, sir. Next Monday, we have class. Next Monday, I have class. So let me come back to your page.
so it is now 39 i have started with 42 number of students uh, 41 number of students and myself now it is 39 let me get a attendance here so virov aniket anindita anirban ankit arijit aryan arnav said okay arnik uh, asraf avirov Alsman, okay, Biblock, okay, Gulsan, okay, Jaydeep, fine, Mainak, Nilak, go, Nilar, go, Nilar, go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Niago, do yesterday, uh, are you there? Sir, uh, actually, sir, yesterday I was not able to join, sir. I was outside of my home, sir. Okay, Niago, you So, this is my first class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Parvej, Prasenjit Mandol, Rajdeep Kundu, Sagar Choudhury, Songram Saha. Were you there yesterday? This is also your first class, right? Okay. Sahavich Parvej, Silpa Mandol. Silpa? Yes, sir. Do you have any problem with network issues? So sometimes it is connected, but fine. Yes, you are staying at Calcutta, na? No, sir. You are in Calcutta, na? Uh, yes, sir. Bot, bot. Okay. Sudha Sattagua, Sikha Saha, Sheikh Mustafa, Soham Kanji, Somik Choudhury, Tomojit, Saurav Sen, Saurju Dato, Sinja Mandol, Sitama. Sitama Ghosh, Suras Soren, Suras Uthas, Boyho, Jagastori. Okay, fine. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Good.